Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss point light in Unreal Engine. We understand point light and its most commonly used properties one by one. Point light emits light equally in all directions from a single point in space. Point light emits light in all directions guys. It work much like a real world light bulb guys. I go to Unreal Engine, I go to Place Actors, go to Lights, drag and drop point light. Once I add point light, you can see that the entire room is lit by the light, right? So the point light is going to work like real world bulb guys. It emits light in all directions, okay? Let's understand common properties. First we have intensity. Intensity indicates the brightness of emitted light. Intensity indicates brightness of emitted light. I go to details panel. I pin it. Here we have the intensity. I increase its value. You can see the brightness of light is increasing. I decrease its value. Brightness of light decreasing. So you can increase or decrease the intensity of the point light or brightness of the point light here guys. Let me reset it back to 8 candela. Next property we have is attenuation radius. Attenuation radius indicates how far the light is emitted. That is area covered by the light or area affected by this light guys. I go back. If I go away from the room, you can see this spherical shape what you are seeing here. It indicates attenuation radius. You can increase or decrease this attenuation radius guys. So as I decrease, 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 you can see only, only this much area is getting affected by this point light. So this is area covered by the point light guys. We can increase or decrease using attenuation radius. Okay. Let me reset it back. Next property we have is affects world. Affects world enables or disables the light in the scene. It enables or disables the light. See, affects world, enables or disables the light. Disabled, enabled, disabled, enabled. Remember that affects world property cannot be modified at runtime. While playing the game, we cannot enable or disable affects world property guys. Whereas we have visible property, which is also work same like affects world it enables or disables the light in the scene but visible property can be modified at runtime while playing the game we can enable or disable this visible property guys so it also works like affects world property but this property can be modified at runtime using blueprints or animation blueprints okay next we have light color property indicates color of the emitted light so here we have light color using that we can change the color of the point light we can modify the color guys right let me set it back to white i say okay next property we have is use temperature checkbox use a temperature checkbox enable or disable light color based on the temperature property here we have the temperature property which allows us to set the light color between warm and cool. I go back, enable use temperature checkbox and here we have the temperature property. We can take the point light to have cool color or warm color, cool or warm. So that is the use of use temperature and temperature property guys. Okay. Next property we have is cast shadows. Cast shadows indicates whether the light casts shadows or not. I go to place actors, go to shapes, drag and drop a cube. You can see that the point light is casting shadows, right? If I disable cast shadows, point light is not casting shadows now. Cast shadows, no cast shadows, right? That is cast shadows, guys. And the next property we have is indirect light intensity. In the previous video, we understood what is direct light, what is indirect light. 
from the light source the light that directly falls on the surface of an object is called direct light you can control the intensity of direct light using the intensity property whereas you can control the brightness or the intensity of indirect light using indirect light intensity and what is indirect light indirect light is the resultant light produced after the bounce of the light is called indirect light observe here observe these corners of the room okay here the corners you observe i go here and change the indirect light intensity as i increase the corners are going to become brighter you see i am going to increase the indirect light intensity see bounce light is more now so we can reduce the intensity of bounce light to have more darker shadows here you can see so that is you are controlling the intensity of bounce light you can see this wall observe this side of the wall is getting brighter or darker observe that because of the bounce light guys okay that's it guys for this video tutorial i hope you guys have clearly understood what is point light how you can create point light and most commonly used properties in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about lights in unreal engine guys if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep gaming keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial